People didn't talk about it. People were not out front about it. Um, probably a lot more people that I knew had it, had abortions and gave up the, or gave up their babies that I didn't know about. But um, it wasn't it wasn't a, an okay thing. President Nixon was the president. Reagan was the governor. What was in style was mini skirts and maxi coats. And my husband always liked um, Johnny Cash. He came with the clothes on his back and a stuffed elephant that he had gotten from his foster parents for Christmas. In the years between 1945 and 1973, one and a half million babies were born out of wedlock and put up for adoption. Well, I was born in 1971 and it took until 1973 for my adoption to be finalized. These babies were all born from teen mothers. I, I did learn from a young age that my, my mom, my birth mother, was really young. She was like 15 when I was born. In 1957, the teen birth rates for 15 to 19-year-old American girls was 96.3 births per 1,000 girls. My maternal grandmother was really opposed to their relationship. My father was Puerto Rican, and I guess he had some family in Puerto Rico, and they um, were under the mistaken impression that if they went there, they could get married without parental consent. She was sent away to a shelter, which I guess was really common practice back then, um, and it was hidden and, you know, it was not, <laughs> not looked upon favorably. That's usually what happened. They usually stayed with a relative until the baby was born and then they went back home. A lot of families sent their kids away to have the baby to, I don't know if it was for their embarrassment or the girl's embarrassment or whatever. They wanted her to have a, a clean slate when she got back and no one would know, especially if she was planning to give up the child. That happened a lot. When the pill first came out, it was very strong. While the popularity of the new contraception pill was increasing, not all parents were approving of birth control. By 1963, 2.3 million women were on the pill, but it still remained illegal in some states due to the controversy surrounding it. They were trying not to encourage it. Once a girl was pregnant, she was frequently forced to have the baby. Abortion wasn't legalized until 1973, when the ruling of the Roe v. Wade Supreme Court case ruled abortion a fundamental right. In those days, if you had sex with somebody, you married. That's pretty much the way it was. You just didn't have that much education. While condoms were available, the lack of education surrounding contraceptives caused them to not always be used efficiently or effectively. I don't know what she went through. I really don't know. She might have been approached. Um, they said things like, um, they would go to her with the papers and she wouldn't want to sign them right then. I couldn't give up my kid. She wasn't going to be able to change her mind. For me, it's really significant to have the opportunity to talk openly about this and to not hide who I am and to be able to say publicly, thank you, mom and dad. Angel is still rocking.